I've been involved in youth hockey, high school hockey, amateur hockey here in Minnesota and across this country for almost 40 years as a coach and before that as a player. And the, the, a lot of things have changed over the years and, the, and there's a lot more people playing this game of hockey and it's a tremendous game. But there's a disturbing trends that have continued throughout these years and, and these are something that we really should, we should be talking about. And what they are is we've come to a hockey culture of game playing rather than learning how to play the game and learning the skills required to play the game. And I'm not sure where this all comes from, but it seems to me that uh, the game counts, I know the game counts are going up every single year. If I go back to when I was coaching Bantams back in the 70s and in the 80s, we played 25, 35 games a year. When I was coaching Bantams in the 90s, we played 40, 45 games a year, including our playoffs. And that was in a five month season. We practiced three or four times a week. We played a couple of games a week. We went to two or three tournaments. We had a pretty good season. Now these game counts are pushing 70, 80, 90 games in, in literally the same time frames that we, we've been playing for a long time, which means there's no practice time involved. It also puts a lot of stress on players. And, and you know, we're seeing this at the squirt level, we're seeing it at the peewee level. It's just game after game after game. Another disturbing trend is as soon as the season is over in late February or in March, the AAA teams pop up and bam, there we go. We're back to playing games all over again. Now some of them have done a pretty good job, some of these clubs, and they do a little bit more practicing. However, um, having observed some and participated in some, we don't get full participation by, the, by, by many of the players because they're rightfully off playing other sports, which is something we would like them to do. So they don't come to these, um, these practice sessions, but they sure come to the game sessions. So um, I think coaches have to make a decision on whether they're gonna develop hockey players or they wanna win games. Now winning games is terrific, but it really doesn't mean a whole lot. Okay. Wanting to win games, yes, we all wanna win. We wanna win with all the players on our team, not just some of the players on the team. And I think we've gotta put in perspective what it is we're trying to accomplish here as coaches and as parents of the players. What's more important, winning a peewee regional or state tournament with uh, five kids sitting on the bench through the whole tournament so you can win a championship, what kind of life lessons do we want to send? What kind of messages do we want to send to, to our players? Um, on top of that, I think we have an obligation to the players because of the time and the money that's being spent by the parents, the time spent by the players, to give them all the tools that they need to become as good of a hockey player that they can all become. Um, most teams rely on two or three kids their top two or three kids drive that whole team and the success of that team. If you're lucky, you got five kids and you probably win a lot of games, but what about the rest of them? Do we always, do we always allow them to play in special situations? Do we coach the lesser skilled kids? And I would argue that we should coach the lesser skilled kids just as much as those that have a little more natural ability. But I go back to this and say, this is an attitude issue, this is a philosophy issue, why are we here? We should be here for the kids. We should be helping them as they move through youth hockey into high school hockey and they move on from each level acquiring the skills that they need to be successful at the next level. And to me that's far more important than having to win the next invitational tournament, win the district playoffs. Yes, we want to win them, but we really want to win over a long period of time, and that's by giving the kids as much skill in put it, putting them into a positive environment all through their experience so that they can maximize their potential as athletes and as people. So coaches, you've got a choice. Prepare for the games or teach skills and teach the game of hockey. And I would argue that the second choice will result in more wins on the other side. So we'll see you around the rink.